Hi everyone, Zori Mori here. Welcome to my channel and greetings from gloomy San Francisco. I am headed to the Cezanne store for a return and then to Everlane to try a few things. I figured I'm gonna turn this into a vlog. I know many of you are here for the Cezanne part of the video, but stick around because Everlane has some really great essentials this spring. In the description box below, I'm gonna link everything I'm trying. There you also find a link to my Facebook group. Hope you join us on there. I share discount codes, sale alerts, restock alerts, and new collection gossip. I'm also gonna link my Instagram accounts. I have two, one dedicated to travel and one to personal style. If you're active on the platform, I'd love for us to connect. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Now let's go to Suzanne and Everlane. Maybe I'm starting to come here a little bit too often. The staff is starting to recognize me, but I actually like that. I love chatting with them and seeing if I can get some insider information. Currently, the spring collection is not super well represented. They do have most of the items in the black floral print, but everything else is just like really small bits and pieces. I'm really hoping that we are going to get more of the accessories, for example. This spring has been such a strong accessory focused collection and the San Francisco store has like such a small fraction of that. So fingers crossed, more is coming. Here you can see the pink floral items. I have the Alicia skirt in this print and it's such an amazing mood booster. I was very surprised that they had this embroidery jacket in all sizes. You know for sure that I am going to try it for you. Look how beautiful the details are. This next Rack's color story is really up my alley. I love Cezanne's suede pieces. I have the suede wool jacket. They have the zig in stock right now, the 70s pants. This Chloe shirt, the colors really match the brown tones on the rack. And they have the Scott trench in stock. So run, don't walk. A trench coat is an essential item for spring and this particular one is cut so so well. Another surprise for me was that the low Anya shoes are in stock. These are sold out on the website. They keep being restocked in very small quantities. A good way to get them if you're in San Francisco is to visit the store as soon as possible. This bag was also in stock. I love the embroidery and the Josie, which I have, is also here. And now to the best part. Let's try a few things and see what we think. I had to start with the jacket. I don't think that my sweater is a good match for it. You need a thinner spring layer underneath. But this is what I'm working with. I think the design is beautiful. The jacket is a little stiff and a little bit heavier than I expected, but it is a beautiful item nevertheless. The lily dress is adorable, made out of silk. It feels like you're wearing a hug. This is size US2 European 34. I really like the fit. Someone told me that the placement of the flowers is a little different on each dress. I cannot confirm or deny. I only tried this one. I think the placement is perfect. 10 out of 10. For the Dorada dress, they didn't have my size in stock. So this is one size bigger than what I usually wear. This is size US 4 European 36. You definitely want to go with your usual size. So as you can see, going up makes the dress not hug me in the right places. I know because I own size 2 from the red design from last year and I absolutely love it. This is the Sandy skirt and Lilia shirt, both size US 2 European 34. I like the skirt, but I like the designs of the dresses in this print better. And as for the shirt, I think it's a beautiful piece. However, the color is not my color. It's very close to my skin tone. So it kind of washes me. 
and I think the details doesn't stand out because of how close this color is to my complexion. I don't know why, but sometimes I completely blank about the fact that we have an Everlane store on Valencia Street here in San Francisco. I was browsing the spring collection online and then a light bulb went off my head and I was like, I can just go and try in person. So here I am today. The store is really well stocked. These loafers are beautiful. They are light as a feather, great shade of off-white. They seem really comfortable. And this large tote bag that will fit a laptop in is a gorgeous khaki slash olive green color. I love, love, love wherever Lena is going with this spring collection. I also got to see a few of their cotton base knits. Not that I need any more sweaters, but they are my weakness. And if you guys follow my channel, you probably know that I have two pairs of these glove flats. I have neutrals, so I have black and beige. But this season, you can get yellow. You can get this kind of very light minty green. Of course, many neutrals, not in the store, but online. And then this blush pink is really, really cute. I made my selection, quite a few things to show you and share my thoughts. So let's get into it. This white poplin dress is the extra extra small size. It has pockets. It makes me feel like summer is here, even though it's not, it's quite cold in San Francisco still, but it's such a great classic, easy, effortless everyday piece. This white t-shirt is a little bit edgier than what I usually go for. I like the shape. I think it works with my body. I'm more of a pear shape. So some volume in the shoulders is always a good thing for me. I'm trying to stay away from cardigans and sweaters, but this one is really beautiful, very soft. It has really chunky texture, which will elevate a lot of outfits that are cotton based, which is a lot of outfits during the springtime. I also love these straight pants. They're available in multiple colors. They're very, very comfortable and really flattering. These sailor jeans are all the rage right now. We see them in so many brands. They run really long. But I do like the fit and I find them quite comfortable, cute with the top. This dress has a lot of potential. They didn't have my size, the one I have on. You can say it's too big, but it's really easy to work with. It comes also in this denim looking dark blue color. It's versatile and it has pockets. The Reformation store on Valencia Street is on my way home, so I had to pop in. I wanted to see what they have. I don't know why they choose to keep the inventory really minimal. I think they have the space to bring a lot more dress options in, but they choose not to, which is not ideal because my shopping cart on Reformation's website is full of thousands of dollars worth of dresses and it would be make my life so easy if they just bring them all in the store and I can try and make my choice. I tried this sweater that really reminds me of something I would see at Cezanne's. I love the texture, I love how it looks, but it is a little bit too cropped for me. I've never tried Reformation denim before. These were recommended by the girl at the store. She said she has them. They're mid-rise straight jeans they run really long i'll have to hem them if i get them i like the color but i don't know i'm not like obsessed with them 
This dress is a winner. I'm obsessed with it. I love the print. If you've watched my previous vlogs, I tried other things in this print. However, the silhouette, the cut of the top is by far my favorite. It's really romantic, good for a wedding, good for brunch. I love it. All right, everyone, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of today's video. I really appreciate your feedback. Don't forget to join me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description box below. If you enjoy watching today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Consider subscribing. I'd love to see you around more. Have a wonderful week and see you next time.